Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given rational equation. So our very first task is to get rid of these fractions. To remove these fractions, let's focus on these denominators. Let's look at the very first fraction on the left hand side over here. Among these 2x squared minus 2x, we can see that the 2x is in common. So I am going to write down the top part 6x plus 5 is going to stay same. We are not going to mess with that one. And the denominator, since 2x is in common, I am going to factor that one out. And inside this parentheses, we are left with x minus 1. And then minus 2 over this part over here. Look at this one, 1 minus x squared. And here I have copied down 1 minus x squared on the right hand side. What if I get negative sign outside. If I negative put outside, this could be written as x squared minus 1. Just keep in your mind. So that means I can write this denominator 1 minus x squared as minus outside in parentheses x squared minus 1. And the right hand side we are going to leave this one as it is at least for this step x square minus 1 and here's the next step I am going to leave this one 6x plus 5 divided by 2x times x minus 1 as you can see we got one sign negative over here and negative when they multiply out, we're going to get the positive sign. So I'm going to write down plus 2 over x squared minus 1 and equals to 3x over x squared minus 1. And here is our next step, 6x plus 5 divided by 2x times x minus 1 and then plus over here before we go any further let me just look at this one let's focus on this x square minus 1 and here I have copied down x square minus 1 over here let's manipulate it a little bit 1 could be written as 1 square now this represents a difference of 2 square x square minus 1 square so therefore we're going to be using this fact or this formula a square minus b square could be written as a minus b times a plus b that means this i can write this x square minus 1 square as x minus 1 times x plus one so far so good and now let's focus on this left hand side on the top we have a 2 divided by and as you can see this x square minus 1 I am going to replace by this one as a factored form so I can write this one as x minus 1 times x plus 1 all right equals to on the top is 3x divided by once again this x square minus 1 I am going to replace it by this factored form so I can write as x minus 1 times x plus 1 and now we are going to focus on the denominators let's start off with the 2x you can we have no more 2x I am going to write down just 2x right up here just watch what I'm going to do now and next is we have a x minus 1 over here we got x minus 1 over here as well and x minus 1 so we are going to write down x minus 1 just once all right and now let's focus on x plus 1 
right up here and we have a x plus 1 over here as well so I am going to write down x plus 1 just once so that means our least common denominator or sometimes we call it least common multiple turns out to be 2x times x minus 1 times x plus 1 and now in our next step whatever we got this least common denominator 2x times x minus 1 times x plus 1 I am going to multiply across the board over here that means I'm going to multiply each and every fraction let's go ahead and do that one 2x times x minus 1 times x plus 1 likewise over here on the second fraction 2x times x minus 1 times x plus 1 and finally 2x times x minus 1 times x plus 1 and here you can see that this 2x and this 2x is gone so this x minus 1 is gone with this x minus 1 so we are ended up with 6x plus 5 times x plus 1 for the first fraction over here likewise let's look at this thing over here this x minus 1 cancels out with this x minus 1 this x plus 1 cancels with this x plus 1 so we are ended up with 2 times 2x is going to become 4x equals to on the right hand side you can see that this x minus 1 and x minus 1 is gone so this x plus 1 and this x plus 1 cancels out so we got 2 times 3 is 6 x times x become 6x square and now in our next step over here we are going to use a foil method we're going to multiply these two parentheses so that's going to become 6x square and then plus 6x likewise plus 5x and then plus 5 and then we got plus 4x and let's move this 6x square on the left hand side that's going to become negative 6x square equal to 0 and now we can see that this 6x square and negative 6x square they cancelled out and so we just going to combine the like terms so that is going to give us uh, 15x plus 5 equal to 0 let's move this 5 on the other side becomes negative 5 so 15 x equal to negative 5 let's divide both sides by 15 because we want to isolate x so x turns out to be negative 1 over 3 so thus our solution is x equal to negative 1 over 3 and that is our answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.